hello guys now in our previous video we created a vm right now we want our vm to act as a web server okay that is it should be able to host web app so in this video let's install these required components okay and then in our next video we will create asp.net core web app project in visual studio and we will host it in this vm and now let's go to the azure portal so guys we are in azure portal and we are under virtual machines and you can see this vm for web app so this is the vm which we created in our previous video and we discussed a lot about vm so let's open this let me maximize so guys we are under overview and if you see the virtual network which is linked with this vm is this one that is our first vnet and the subnet within which this vm is residing is our first subnet okay now to install the required components on this vm of course we will need to remotely connect to this vm using rdp that is remote desktop so for for that let's click on this connect and here i will say connect let's go down and let's click on this download rdp file so let's click on this so rdp file has been downloaded and let's open it so this is that file so basically when we connect to this vm we will be connecting using rdp that is remote desktop so let's double click on this so i'll say connect and here we need to provide the password which we configured when we created the vm so and let's say okay we'll say yes and you can see we are getting connected to this vm so guys we are in this vm now first thing to verify whether this vm is web server or not let's open browser so let's click on this start let's open microsoft edge and in this address bar i will say local host let's say enter and see guys it says can't reach this page that means our vm is not a web server and for that let's minimize this so we are under this server manager so first let's close this so we are under server manager and here let's click on this add roles and features i will say next i will say next i will say next and here let's go down and here let's click on this web server that is iis so that we should be able to host our app in iis so let's like this i will say add features here i will say next here i will say next here i will say next and here let's go down and here i will select un so under management tools i will select this iis 6 so let's select this i will say next and here i will say install so the required components for this web hosting they are getting installed and guys you can see the installation is successful so let's close this and let's close this as well now again let's go to our browser and here let's say refresh and now you see we got some page and it says internet information services that means we should be able to host our web app but guys we need to do one more thing that is we need to install dotnet 8 bundle as well so let's open new tab and here i will say and here i will say install dotnet 8 hosting bundle so let's open it and let's open this first link now let's go down so basically we need to install this runtime 8 hosting bundle so let's click on this hosting bundle and you see it's it's been getting downloaded and 
I will say open file and here I will say agree and let's install it. So let's click on this install. So installation successful. So let's close it. So basically that's it guys. And now our VM, it should be able to host web app. Thanks. Thanks for listening.